everyone, welcome back to my channel. I was going through my lipstick collection the other day and was like kind of organizing the colors and whatnot. And I realized that I never did a video or a post on my favorite MAC lipsticks. And I worked for MAC like eons ago, like at least 10 plus years ago. And I had quite a lot of makeup from when I worked for them then. And then over the years, you know, when I back to MAC stuff, I pick up a new lipstick here and there. So I've had a lot of MAC lipstick, like a lot, like over a hundred at one point. And I, I worked for the brand, so they gave me tons of gratis. And um, so I just accumulated a ton of lipsticks and then back to mac all the time. So at one point I probably had like 80 to 100 lipsticks. I don't obviously have that many anymore, but I've narrowed it down to pretty much the eight of my collection. I probably have like 20 or so at this point uh, still left, but there's eight that I truly love and would get again and they're my favorite of kind of my MAC collection. So let's get started and they're a mix of like bold and nude colors kind of like all mixed together. Oh I just looked at myself in the <laughs> my hair is so frizzy it's like raining I just looked at myself in the camera and I'm like ah! my hair's naturally curly like really really curly like people are like yeah no we don't believe you no Anyone that know, knew me in high school and when I first moved up to New York, I have like tight, 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 tight curls, but I've had my hair, I, you know, I straighten it and it's been cut over the years to wear more straight than to wear curly. So I can no longer like wear it curly, but this is like, this is just from humidity. Like any type of like whatever I have in my hair, it's just from like the humidity. So I had to like twist it back and when I looked at myself in the camera and I was like, eek, whatever. All right, moving on, lipsticks. So the first one that I love for MAC is, and there's no limited edition shades, because isn't that frustrating? I try to pick like all shades that you can get now. And this is a luster shade, and it's the shade Patisserie. So it's like a great sheer nude, like a pinky nude. Uh, MAC does some of the best nudes around. You know, most of their nudes are kind of like iconic and, and super popular. Um, and this Patisserie, this, this came out like, a few years ago but it's so it's not a color that's been around for like decades but when it came out it was just so popular and I just think it's such a pretty color it's so easy to wear it just looks like my lip color truly and the luster texture is very very sheer and kind of glossy the next one oh my gosh I was actually working for the brand when this color launched back in like 2003 or 4 um, with the Liza Minnelli collection so this is girl about town I'm sure many of you use it it's an amplified texture, so it's really rich and creamy and opaque, and it's this like intense fuchsia color. It really is so, it's just like a decadent color when you wear it, and it's so like opaque and bold and creamy on the lips. So I've been wearing this color for years and years and years and still love it. Uh, okay, another nude. Um, well, actually just like a natural lip color. This is one from the Cream Sheen um, texture. And this is the color Modesty, very similar to Patisserie. Like all of my favorite MAC nude shades, like all look the same. Um, back in the day, I used to wear this color by MAC called Flesh Pot. Mm. It was like this, I mean, really nude. Like the kind that like just blends in with your like skin. I mean, I was a little bold and daring back then. I used to wear it with like really smoky eyes and like that Flesh Pot nude death lip. Ugh, what was I thinking? But I thought I was hot. Um, but the nudes I like now are a little more like pinky and just kind of look like my lip color. So this one called Modesty is just such a favorite. I wear this one a lot. Next is, oh, another classic nude. I'm sure everyone has tried this color, Hug Me. It pretty much looks good on like every single skin tone because it's so sheer and it just will enhance your lip color because it's like a nice kind of slightly pinky, slightly brownie nude so it doesn't skew too much when on the lips but very, very sheer. All right, oh, hello, Lady Danger. What? This is, I mean, it's like glowing in the screen, isn't it? It's a matte texture, and it's like the most orangey red that you can imagine. It's very bold, it is very in your face. This is not for the faint of heart. I actually wore this, oh my gosh. I had to get a passport video, passport years ago, to get my passport photo done and the office was right near where I was working at the time and I was working for a cosmetic company and I was wearing that color this lip color 
that day to work, so I stopped in first to get my passport photo with Lady Danger and like a full face of makeup. That passport photo, I since changed because I got married and changed my name, so I needed a new passport. But that photo, nobody ever believed it was me. Every time I'd go through like customs or whatever, people were like, so who's this? And I'm like, it's me wearing red lipstick and a lot of makeup. And they're like, it looks like a clown. <laughs> but the color is beautiful, but just how I was wearing it that day was just like crazy, especially in a, in a passport photo. But highly recommend it. If you really love like bright orangey, intense reds, that's like the top of what you can get. Ooh, so this color I don't hear a lot of people talk about, but it is one of my favorite reds. It's called Spice It Up. And it seems very dark, but let me show you. It is like a sheer, kind of berry brick color. Beautiful. Really gorgeous in the fall. I love it with like, kind of like a smoky taupey eye, like a kind of bronzy taupey eye, and then this on the lips. It's just very rich and warm, but still sheer and very easy to wear. Been loving that color for eons. All right, next, okay, this is how long I've had this lipstick tube. It is the old tube, like it's like more square than like the newer ones, like the bullet. I mean, look how old that is. Oh my gosh. It's Ruby Woo. Ah! So Ruby Woo is like a classic color as well by MAC. Um, it's very, very matte. It's like their retro matte. It's more of a blue-based red. So um, versus Lady Danger's very orange. But it's a very classic red. A lot of people love it. They say it's like their favorite um, red. It looks great on, the great thing is it looks good on a lot of different skin tones. So really fair, medium tone, olive tone, dark skin. Like it really can be worn by so many different people, which I absolutely love. And that's why it's been like a cult classic for so many years. All right, the final shade is another red, but it's like a sheer, just glossy, juicy red that I love. And it's Ladybug. It's their luster texture. I'll just do like a little quick little, just like, just kind of like a poppy red, sheer, glossy. I love it in the summer, especially with just kind of like glowy skin. And then that on the lips, it just looks really juicy and poppy and punchy. Um, so those are my eight favorite lipsticks from MAC. I had like another one from the, um, the Archie collection or whatever, but I realized that was limited edition, so I'm not even gonna talk about it because you can't even get it anymore. But all of those eight you can still get. Um, leave me some comments below. I'd love to know what your favorite MAC lipsticks are because I'm always anxious to try you know, different ones and know what everyone else's favorite is. So um, I will talk to you guys soon and thanks for watching. Okay, take care, bye-bye.